So after waiting six long months, the ECG reader finally comes to Hong Kong and 19 European countries. Let's take a look. Yes, my friends, finally after six long months, the feature that many people bought the Apple Watch Series 4 for has finally come to the watch. Now, this is the ECG reader. It's available in Hong Kong and 19 other European countries. They include Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and for me, the UK. Okay, so let's show you how now to get this working on your device. So make sure that you've downloaded the latest software update, which currently is Watch OS 5.2. It may be a later version, depending on when you're watching this video. And just download that and get that installed on your device. Obviously, it will take a few minutes. I'm going to just jump ahead to when we've got it installed. Right, so when you have got it installed, you'll notice that there will now be a new symbol on the apps on your watch, and that is this little ECG symbol on the left there. Now, when you click on it, first of all, it will say to set it up, go to the health app on the watch, and as soon as you go into the health watch, it will come up with, do you want to set up the ECG app? You'll need to put in your date of birth, and then you'll need to just read these screens. Now it is quite important that you read these screens because it does give you an indication of exactly what and what the ECG does and doesn't do. So it will tell you about the results, it will tell you about what you can learn from them, and it will also tell you what you can't rely on. So it won't tell you, for instance, if you're having a heart attack. So you need to make sure that you are aware of exactly what this does do and what it doesn't do. Okay, so when you're familiar with all that information, click continue and it will prompt you to say that you're now ready to take your first ECG. Okay, so you can head over to your Apple Watch and then find the ECG app, which is there somewhere, and then click into it. And then you'll be prompted with this screen. To take an accurate ECG, your Apple Watch needs to be snug on the wrist selected in settings. So when you first set up the watch, you chose whether it was on your left or right wrist. Just make sure it's on that wrist and snug. You can now hold your finger on the crown for 30 seconds. Now make sure you do hold it on properly because I just moved slightly and it ended up resetting that 30 seconds. But when you have run down the 30 seconds, it will then give you immediate feedback on your watch. As we can see, we're just coming into it now. So it says that the ECG does not show signs of arterial fibrillation, which is a good thing. Now, you can now head over and get a little bit more information on your health app in your iPhone. So it will come up with a prompt on the home screen to say that there's an ECG reading, and then you can go into it, and it will give you the ECG reading, and if you do then click into it further, it will then go in and give you a lot more information. So that's the reading, click into it further, and it tells you that you don't uh, show signs of arterial uh, fibrillation, but it also gives you the option to export that to your doctor. So if you are keeping a track of this, then you can export this as a PDF. It will give the time, the device, and everything that it was done on. And if you click on export, then it will come up with this. And as you can see, it's a far more detailed version of the ECG that's been taken. And that's it, my friends. You're then ready to go. You've done your first ECG. And then at any point, you can literally go back in there. Now, one of the things that you can also do on the watch is add symptoms. So if you are exporting information to your doctor, you can add some symptoms, whether you've got rapid or pounding, fluttering heart, fatigue, shortness of breast, dizziness, that type of thing. Now, I've got none, so I'm going to click Save. So if you are feeling under the weather, and you do run an ECG and you allocate those symptoms, then that will be something which you can then let your doctor know about at a later date. So that's it, my friends. That's the ECG. It's brilliant that it's now available in a lot more places. Thanks, as always, for watching this video, and I will see you on the next.